Well, hi, friends. We are so glad you joined us today. My name is Mr. Lucas. Hi, and I'm Miss Dorothy. It's so good to spend this time learning together. We are just missing our friend who likes to dig, dig, dig into God's Word. Do you remember his name? That's right. It's Hamilton. We're going to call Hamilton. We don't want to scare him, so we're going to call him with our quiet, gentle voices. Can you help me call Hamilton on the count of three? Ready? One, two, three. Hamilton. Hamilton. Oh, oh, he's jiggling. He's jiggling. I think, I think, I... Boy, I think I found him, Miss Dorothy. Ooh. Oh, hello, little guy. Oh, Hamilton. Hi. You weren't so far away after all. It seemed like far. You, you, you were close, weren't you? Hamilton. What do you have with you? Is is that a pair of is is that a pair of binoculars? <laughs> we have some binoculars. Hi, friends. Do you think it's a clue to the big God story? Yep, yeah, you're right. Today we're going to learn how God is always with us, no matter where we go. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, boys and girls, you give me a thumbs up if you're ready to hear this part of the Big God story. Are you ready? Me too. Before we begin, let's get started. We need to find the Big God story. Where do we find it? Hamilton knows. Do you know? That's right. We find our Big God story in the Bible. Now it's time to look and to see where our story is. I know that you love to dig, dig, dig right into God's Word. And we want to find what this story has to say to us. Let's get started and sing our Bible song together right now. Now it's time to hear God's Word, hear God's Word, hear God's Word. Now it's time to hear God's Word, so let's look in the Bible. Hi everyone, my name is Missy Lane and I am so glad to get to share a part of God's big story with you today. Now after a busy day taking care of sick and hungry people, Jesus told his friends to take their boat to the other side of the lake. He said he'd join them in a little while, but first he wanted to go up a mountain to pray and be with God his Father. Let's hold up our binoculars and pretend we're looking at Jesus far away on the mountain. Can you pretend to see Jesus far away on the mountain? Oh, there he is, far away. And this is Hamilton's clue for our story. We can see things from far away. So Jesus was up on the mountain and his friends took their boat across the lake. The sun had set and the sky was getting dark. Then the wind started to blow and it started blowing against them. And Jesus' friends had a hard time trying to steer the boat. Let's look through our binoculars at Jesus' disciple on the boat. Can you see them? They're having a hard time. The waves were pounding on the boat and rocking it around. Let's pretend that we're on the boat with the waves crashing into us. And getting little. the storm is getting worse. And they were trying so hard to steer the boat. Oh, that, and they, they were so tired just trying to row the boat. Meanwhile, Jesus finished praying up on the mountain and he walked out to meet his friends. Wait a minute, where were Jesus' friends? Yes, they were on the boat and Jesus was still on the land. Jesus walked out to meet his friends on the water and he did not use a boat to get to his friends. He used his feet. Jesus walked on the water. When Jesus' friends saw him walking on the water, they were very scared. Did Jesus' friends need to be scared? No, they didn't need to be scared because Jesus was with them. Now Jesus was near or far from his friends. Where was he? Yes, he was near his friends. Jesus told his friends, be brave, it's me. Don't be afraid. Then a friend of Jesus named Peter said, Lord, 
If it's really you, tell me to come meet you on the water. So Jesus told Peter to come, come to him on the water. Peter got out of the boat and started walking to Jesus on the water. But then Peter saw a strong wind and he got scared again and he started to sink. So Peter called out to Jesus, Lord, save me. So Jesus reached out his hand and lifted Peter out of the water. And Peter and Jesus climbed back into the boat and the wind stopped. Jesus' friend said, you really are the Son of God. When Jesus' friends saw Jesus walking on water, they were scared. Do they need to be scared? No, because God was with them. What about when Peter began to sink? Did he need to be afraid? No, because Jesus is with him. Friends, Jesus is always with us too. No matter where we are or what we're doing, God is with us. Let's pray and thank God that he's always with us. You can repeat after me. Dear God, thank you that you are always close to me and no matter where I am, I do not need to be afraid. Thank you for how much you love me. We love you. Amen. Thanks for listening so well, friends. We'll see you next time. What a great story! That reminds me that God is always with us. It's so good. Let's practice our memory verse that helps us remember the same thing. Let's say our memory verse together. I am the Lord your God. I will be with you everywhere you go. Joshua 1.9. Great job, everyone. Shall we say it together one more time? Let's raise the roof and say it as loud as we can. Oh boy. Are you ready? Oh boy. I am I'm the Lord, Lord your God. God. I will be, be with you, you everywhere, everywhere you go. Joshua 1.9. You are sure good at saying that verse loud. <laughs> it's a great verse. God is with us everywhere. We love learning together from God's big story. And today we learned that God is with me. And God is with you. I love that. And remember... God loves you so much. And so do we. Bye, friends. Talk to